All right, Shalom brothers. This is Awar from the Mississippi camp. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give, I just want to give all praise to you. How about Shem, how shy? Double honors to the elders and honors to you brothers who are out there doing the work in sincerity and in truth. All right, this lesson, um, just something quick that was on my spirit about being prudent, you know, and being prudent in this truth is basically uh that, that's very necessary man and that's really have to how you have to be you can't be impulsive you can't be that uh type of guy who just um who doesn't think acts first think later act first then think later you can't you can't be that way man or you can get yourself and the brothers around you in a lot of trouble you know this is a uh, Proverbs chapter 14, verse 15. The simple believeth every word, but the prudent man, but the prudent man looketh well to his going. Meaning the man who is prudent, he's going to he's going to research. That's why I said the simple believeth every word. The uh the prudent man gonna research. He's gonna find out anything that he's getting himself into. If you tell him something in the scriptures, he's going to go back and read it for himself. Or if you tell him anything, um, he's going to do his research on it, man. He's going to think about the consequences of his actions. And that goes on in your, in a, in your daily life. You know? And you have to be that way, man. You, you can't... And, and you have to be that way in your daily life. You can't just go and do things without thinking of the consequences. You know, there's consequences for all your actions, man. All right? The things that you say, how you come off, is, is, uh, is important, man. All right? Um, this is Proverbs 15 and 5. A fool despises his father's instruction. But he that regardeth reproof is prudent. All right. So a person who's going to take heed to instruction, that person is, is um, he's prudent. He looks well to his going, man. Because he's going to take the information he's been given or the instruction that he's been given. And he's going to make good use of it. He's going to correct his life. You know, just like the chastening of the Most High. When we go off or the Most High show us certain things or, or we end up in certain temptations or make different types of uh, mistakes, you know, we uh, repent and we learn from our mistakes, man. That, um, basically what we, what we deal with in our daily life and when we out there on the highways, you know. So, you know, basically it was just a quick lesson that was on my spirit about, um, you know, being prudent. And you have to continue to be that way. Matter of fact, I um, want to get another scripture. This is, um, this is an example of being prudent. This is 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, um, verse 1. But of the times and seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so comfort, so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Because America is going to be destroyed. And you are going to have um, calamities come on this place. All right. And the people who are talking about peace and safety, they're not going to, um, they're going to be caught off guard. All right. And it says, but ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. All right. Ye are all the children of light, and the children of the day. We are not of the night, nor of the darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. 
see watching and being sober and learning all the um basically is because you you um in your right mind frame and you're watching that's called being prudent a prudent is a person who watches and they know what's to come so they're staying on a straight and narrow they're not making these mistakes because they can always see the bigger picture you know and that's how we got to be in this truth you got to have you got to be prudent man you got to be circumspect you got to be able to see the bigger picture and you got to uh, know that the America going to be destroyed, the Lord coming back and throughout your daily life when with whatever that you deal with, you have to uh you have to know that, man. You have to keep that in mind. But yeah, that's basically was an example and it's many scriptures on being prudent. But basically like I said, that was just on my spirit about you know how we gotta be in this truth man we have to have that prudent mind frame and we gotta live it you know all right but with that brothers all praise to you how about show me how shy once more lord will you was edified by this uh video you how about show me how shy baraka thumb shalom mocking